But a big queue to watch today is the CPI data, which will be released later in the evening. Ahead of that, Lata is here with all of the key expectations. Lata, it's over to you. Not very sure if CPI is any longer a very big queue. But first, the facts, the CNBC TV18 poll is expecting a 6.84 reading as the August uh, CPI number, which actually is higher than the July CPI number of 6.71. So for sure, August will uh, break the four successive months of falling inflation that we saw. April was a high at 7.8 and since then we have been falling uh, all the way till July, but that won't be August. Uh, the uh, number anyway need not be very worrying because even if it is 6.84 or even 6.9, the average for the quarter comes in at about 6.88 as of now max. But the Reserve Bank has already forecast a 7.9 for Q2. So even a slightly higher number is not going to disturb people's expectations uh, from the Reserve Bank. The point of bother will be cereals. You know, the government has banned uh, broken rice imports for a reason. Because prices are going up and broken rice tends to be also used as animal feed. So it won't be just cereal prices, but it will move on to other products as well, other uh, food items as well. And therefore, that is the only point. It won't be core inflation so much as food inflation that uh, economists uh, will watch out for. Core inflation will come back at the steady 5.8 to 6 percent that it has been. Uh, the number is crucial, of course, because this is the last number we have before the Monetary Policy Committee assembles on uh, September 30th for the policy. Just a word, IIP number also comes out. It's, I think, expected to be about 4.8 percent. Uh, and may look very bad compared to June, but this is more a base effect. Uh, last year, up until June, Delta had kept the numbers, Delta variant of the, of the COVID had kept uh, IIP numbers low, so there were bigger numbers in uh, uh, all the way from April, May, June. But July, that base effect wears off in any case. IIP is not a much-watched number. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, Lata.